No one really knows when or where he'll turn up again, but our experts predict the next sighting to be Friday at quarter past four on CRTV. Keep them peeled while he watches. earlier today that the proprietor and chief executive of Sooty & Co was feeling very pleased with himself. In an exclusive interview, 27-year-old Matthew Corbett announced that he had come to a decision which would affect the lives of other people. <laughs> you fooled you. I bet you thought you were watching the news, didn't you? In an announcement earlier today, 23-year-old Matthew Corbett, it's me, it's Matthew. However, it is true. I have come to an important decision and it will affect the lives of other people. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go and buy something that we can all share. Uh, I'd better go and warn that lot. They've got to look after the shop, hadn't they? Oh, ah, and before you are thinking he can't afford to buy anything, you're wrong. Because I have got £20 in the bank. This is the bank. £20. Clever, eh? There we are. I'll go and draw the curtains. Oh, come on, Sue. I'm only asking you to hold the fort for a couple of hours. Well, are you sure you can trust us whilst you're gone, Matthew? Yes, of course I can trust you, Sue. I mean, listen, listen. Sue, you are great in the shop and you are great with the customers. Oh. And Sue, you are great with the paperwork. Scan fee. You're great at fetching the stock. Mm -hmm. And sweep. Mm -hmm. Sweep. Mm -hmm. Well, you're just great. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you'll be grateful when I go out and bring back what it is I'm going to get. It's something very exciting, something, something that we can all share now. Can you guess what it is? Something that we're all going to share? What? A pizza? Uh, no, it's not a pizza. Is it a football? <laughs> no, it's more exciting than that, sweet. Ah, is it a fortnight in Mauritius, Matthew? Uh, well, it's not quite as exciting as that, Sue, oh. but it, it is exciting. It is. What's going to be? A computer game? No, 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 it's much more exciting than that. I'll have to tell you. I am going to buy... Oh, do come along. <laughs> Tell us, Matthew, the suspense is killing us. All right, all right. I am going to buy a can crusher. A can crusher? Yes, it's brilliant, this. It's a machine for crushing drinks can down to a fraction of their normal size. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, you lot. Stop messing about. Stand up. A can crusher? Yes. We'd rather have a pizza. I thought you said it was exciting. But, Sue... It is exciting, because this family is going to get into recycling. Very exciting. I've been reading all about it, you know. Apparently, you can recycle all sorts of things. Listen, listen. You can recycle uh, clothes, glass, mm -hmm. paper, garden waste, and by saving energy, we can help to save the planet. But here's the best bit. Here's the best bit. You can actually make money by recycling. Yeah, I thought that might appeal to you. Listen, I'm going to go and get a shower, and then I'll go out and get our can crusher. In the meantime, you have a think about something that we can recycle. Now, anything that's old and nobody wants, you could probably recycle that. What about, what about some old clothes? You lot, have a think about it. Go on. The can crusher sounds exciting. Well, I think I'd have settled for the fortnight in Mauritius, or even a pizza, but never mind. So, what about recycling some old clothes? What was it that Matthew said? Anything that's old and no one wants. Have you got any clothes that are old and you don't want, Sooty? Sweep? Mm. Scampy? Well, I certainly haven't. Mm. Yes, Sweep. <laughs> Who's got the oldest clothes of any of us? Mm. Well, I suppose Matthew has. Mm. <laughs> Do I want Matthew's clothes? No, don't be silly, Sweep. I don't want Matthew's clothes. <laughs> Neither do the rest of us. <gasps> I see what you're getting at, Sweep. Matthew's clothes are all old and nobody wants them. Those are the clothes he must have been talking about. We could recycle Matthew's clothes. Of course you're right, Sweep. Come on, everybody. We've got work to do. Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off to work we go.
them to me. We'll start with that dressing gown that Stampy found, Sooty. That's it. Recycling saves energy and is good for the planet. <coughs> You've got something. Right, pass it here, sweet. Thank you. Now, you can get that out the window. Thank you. And... Right, that's every single item of clothing in the barrow. Let's go and sort them out. Come on. Hey, this recycling business is fun. sort out the clothes, so to you and Scampy, go and collect as many cans as you can, okay? There'll be fun galore with the terrible thought, just you wait and see. So Sooty and Scampy have got the job of collecting all the old drinks cans. They can use this box to put them in. Sweep and Sue are recycling my clothes. Sooty's making sure the cans end up in the box. Watch this. <laughs> Smarty pants. I wonder where Scampy is. Well done, Sooty. You certainly collected a lot of cans. <laughs> You're right, Sweep. We are doing a good job. So Sooty, Sweep and Sue think they're doing a good job. And so does little cousin Scampy. You know, there's a can recycling centre in town. Why don't you take these there in the camper van, Sooty? It'll save Matthew having to crush them with his machine. Chloe, only me, Morfrick Market. Oh, hello, you three. Listen, I'm not stopping. I thought I'd just pop in and let you know I'm going down to the can recycling centre in town. So if you've got any old cans that... Well, I'll go to the foot of our stairs. Someone's been busy. Do you want I should take him? No, it's all right, Mo. Sooty and Sweep are just off down the can place in the camper van. Right. In fact, they could take your cans, couldn't you, boys? Could you? Well, that'd be very kind if it's not too much trouble. Here you are, then, Sweep. Listen, they're not heavy, they're just awkward, love. Have you got them? Right, there's another bag coming up. Here you go, then. Well, thank you very much, boys. That saved me a job. Oh, no. What, Chug? I've just remembered you get paid for taking cans in, don't you? Well, yes, you do, look, but it's not a lot. But, yes, but the boys have taken your cans and... Look, never mind about the money. It doesn't matter. But I feel awful. Oh. Isn't there some way I could... <gasps> I've got it. Mo, how would you like this pile of clothes? There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that, well, nobody wants them and... They're yours if you want them. Well, they look all right. Hey, 